Hello, this is Masto. In this video, let's learn how to do the Taegu Yiljang properly. Taegu Yiljang is the very first Pumse for the beginner students. Throughout this Pumse, beginner students will learn the most major basic blocks and punch and stances. Alright, before you go on direction, let's take a look at the basic blocks they will use in this Pumse. There are three basic blocks that you are going to use in Taegu Yiljang, which is low block, aremaki, and inner body block, momtong maki, and face block, orgul maki. You can practice from horseback stance here, beginning with the left hand, down block, and right hand, and left hand, and right hand, and left hand, and right hand. Alright, now let's take a look at the basic stances that you are going to use in this Pumsen. Besides attention stance and ready stance, you will use walking stance, which is apsogi, and front stance, which is apgubi. From ready stance, open the left foot of our shoulder width apart, take your left or right foot one step forward, just like your normal walking distance, and pivot your back foot about 30 degrees inside. Less than 30 degrees inside is okay, but it's more than 30 degrees inside, it's not quite right, because it will turn your body more like sideways. So your fist can fit in between your foot, right here. Walking stance and front stance. I see a lot of people exaggerate when you make any stance in here. Walking stance or front stance like that. I guess it's okay, but if you do this, it's quite difficult to finish your form in exactly the same spot where you begin from. And when you make any blocks in here, down block, or middle block or face block, your upper body will be turned about 30 degrees inside, like that. Rather than just complete, completely square like this. Punch, blocks, like that. The last basic movement that you require to complete this pum set is punch. It say it's a middle punch, mom tong jirigi. Wong in middle punch means you are punching here in the solar flexes, not everywhere. So when you punch, your punch is supposed to be a little bit lower than your shoulder and a little bit inner, right here, which is line up the solar flexes and your middle punch here on the same line. All right, now let's take a look at the shape of the form. Every table pumse has three lines and one more line in the middle. Just like GPS, if you don't know where to go, if you don't have a map, it's quite difficult to find a way home. I want you to remember the shape of the form in your head. And I want you to remember the simple rule for the pumse. Each pumse will do the exactly same identical movement each side of the line. So orders are different. First line to third line, on the way back you take care of the second line. Rules are slightly different in each pun set, but that's the basics. You will do the exactly same movement, left and right side of each line, but only use opposite hands or foot. Lastly, I want you to analyze the pun set carefully and find own rule to remember the direction easily. For myself, I remember this way. Every stance is when you face to the left and right sides of walking stance. And every time when you face the front or back, use only front stance, which is akubi. And each line consists of block followed by punch and orders are from your lower body. First line, second line, and third line. Down block, middle block, face block. Each block followed by punches. All right, then let's begin. From attention stance, open the left foot, the shoulder width apart, and gently bring your hands up to your chest. And make your fist and bring it down in front of you. Okay, bring your left hand on your right hand side and turn your body in place. Make down block, followed by punch. And turn, right hand down block, followed by left hand middle punch. Here, take front stance down block, and punch in place. Second line consists of inner body block followed by punch. Here, yeah, step to the right and left hand inside block followed by right hand middle punch. Here, 
Do the same thing on other side. And step to the third line, followed by middle punch in place. In third line, you will use a front kick between block and punch. I want you to carefully coordinate these movements by doing this. Here from middle punch, make the first base block. When you kick it, I want you to bring your both hands down in front of you. Here, naturally make kicking stance. Some people by keeping your hands in here doing it, but it's okay. But I guess this is the more appropriate. Yeah, bring it down. As you bring it up, one. Like that, and finish your punch at the same time of land of your kicking foot. How you breathe in this part, here, when you front kick, I want you to hold your breath. And when you punch, exhale. Let me show you one more time here. Base block. Like that. You do the same. Here. Hold your breath. Like that. Okay, I'll show you ending part by facing this way. Have the face block, the front kick, and middle punch. And turn your body to the right. Bring your left hands on your right and show right shoulder. And step forward, make down block, followed by middle punch with the heel. But in this part, a lot of people confuse. Use the right leg is more the left leg. Because I think it's in, in walking order, because the right leg is in the back. You know, with the wall by doing this. <clears throat> so naturally, people feel naturally if you want to move to the right hand side, the which leg is here uh, supposed to move? I guess back leg. I feel the same. This is more natural. Here, if somebody try to kick you or punch you from your right hand side, I rather use my right leg to block. A rule is a rule here. You're supposed to turn your body to the right and left the first step forward, down block, followed by middle punch with the front stance with a shout. Alright, now I'll quickly demonstrate how it's supposed to be done from beginning to the end. Space is unlimited, you know, camera frame. I'll minimize the movements and do it briefly. Here, ready stance, down block, punch. In a block, second line, and third line, face block, followed by punch. Here, on the way back, right turn, here shout, and the turn. And you left it backwards to the spot where you're beginning from. Like I said at the beginning of the lesson, Telugu Gilzan is for beginner student. Telugu Gilzan is not very difficult. But if you go on detail, it is not quite easy. Some of the movements are quite controversial. When you make front stance, how wide they have to open it. Or upper body turned in a little bit, or completely square. When you make face block, how high they have to raise your hands. Something like that. Given situation in here in Tegelijan for this face block is when someone try to punch your face with a straight punch. So you just need to raise your hand slightly higher than your head at the right time to misdirect your opponent to punch. But let's say if someone try to hit top of your head in vertical way, that you might have to raise your hands a little bit higher. You know, something like that. I'm the one of the ordinary instructor among many others. I want you to research and study and find out what's best for you. Learn and adapt. Alright, that's for the lesson in this video. Thank you for watching.